Hey guys, here we go again, another update. And yesterday I have highlighted 10 new features for Affinity by Canva. And today we're going to talk about still missing features. That's something I always do after each big update. I released two videos yesterday, new features, today missing features. Take a look here. I've been doing this since version 2.0. So this will be the last addition to this document. We're moving to a new version of Affinity, Affinity 3.0 in the next video. But before that, let's kind of summarize this generation. So let's start with the designer. We got strong start with the shape builder tool that was very needed tool, but we've been still missing this trace tool with each update in this generation really. So what was the missing list after the last update 2.6? That was auto trace, auto blend, mesh gradients, real vector brush and right to left scripts. And how about version three, this new version by Canva? So they finally added this auto trace, a huge win here. We got also proper mesh gradients, in addition, we got stuff that we did not ask for. We got export to Canva and we got publisher tools now because everything is integrated into one app. So I think the publisher tools really benefits the vector mode here. So it's not a separate app now. So it's the same app. As you can see, I got the same logo everywhere. We're just using the vector mode. That's the blue color. What's still missing? Auto blend is still missing. Real vector brush is missing, but they finally renamed that tool. It's not named Vector Brush anymore. So it's not confusing. So that's a right step, step in the right direction, I guess. Again, we got our right to left scripts missing and the forum, they shut down the forum. We cannot post on the forum anymore. It's only a Discord server now. And it's made this whole process of preparing videos for this big launch way harder for me because the information was so scattered around a bit on Affinity page, a bit on Canva blog, a bit on Discord, and I cannot really find a proper old-fashioned changelog that I can like analyze and make notes from and prepare my videos like I always do. So I'm missing the forum already. And I hope I would get used to that Discord experience or maybe they will make it more transparent. I got troubles like finding information there. So if I mess up something in this list, please let me know in the comment below. I try my best to do a research, but without a proper forum, it was way harder. All right, so that's what's added and that's what's still missing in the Vector Persona Vector Studio of Affinity app. Let's hope for the real Vector Brush coming up soon. How about a former Affinity photo now called a pixel mode and now we got a proper AI replace. So last version 2.6, we complain about lack of uh, AI tools, really new filters and buff editing when you can edit multiple pictures in the same time. And uh, the one that they kind of provide this time is uh, the AI tools from Canva are available. They are paid. So keep that in mind. You need the subscription, the Canva pro for them. But if you really need those AI tools, they are here for you. So I guess we can kind of say that's fixed. It's now here. It's an option for you. It's an extra pay option, but it's an option. And everything else is kind of still missing. And we got one new problem here, stability. People been reporting pro crashes and problems with installations and all of that stuff. So I hope they can resolve that soon, especially for the pixel based projects that are the heavy ones. By the way, now we are setting up a new set of expectations for version three with all of the Canva backing now. So feel free to post below what you want me to put here for the very next video when we meet here again in version 3.1. All right, because I'm kind of just using the missing features from previous version, version two. So we can expand on that, I believe. And the last one, let's take a look here. We got the old publisher now it's called just layouts and in this one we finally get a proper export to epub format that was something requested for so many updates we got a better ui in general 
I put it here in the in the layouts because they simplify so many elements here. It would be way better for uh, users that are not, uh, I don't know, trained in digital publishing and they still want to use some of those nice tools here because they are e a bit easier to understand. And I think the single app approach is the most beneficial to the publisher aspect because the publisher was this this ugly child. This was the one, this is like niche inside the niche. So <laughs> most people bought a designer of photo and publisher was always a bit forgotten. We actually afraid they will cancel publisher at some point. And uh, luckily now it's all merged together. So we don't need to worry about that. Publisher is just part of the, of the bigger software. So I think that's kind of saved the publisher because it got very weak support. You can say, take a look. This is the longest list of the missing features. We kind of get this one done. We got EPUB export. We got a bit better UI and single app approach that's benefiting this a lot, but we still got this long list of missing features. And the, the deal breaker for many is a lack of right to left scripts. So people are kind of ready to switch from a core draw or Adobe, but they need this feature for their own language or the language they need to publish in. So that's super important. We're also waiting for a proper PDF forms that people can kind of fill in script support better pdf export that was a problem that's like uh, you cannot really trust it you must double check the errors while you're exporting pdfs and that's something that is no go for publishing software and captions auto captions for images and text frames and image frames and stuff like that that can make your life easier with the those super long documents so here it is they managed to add auto trace and mark gradients that was a really high on the list we are still waiting for auto blend and real vector brush they add some ai tools but we are still waiting for some new modern photo editing tools and stability may be a problem with this new version that kind of merging all three apps into one we finally can export as epub that's great but but this is long list of features that we're still waiting for and the most important one is right to left scripts so people can use it for multiple languages not only for the one that we write from 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 left to right okay so that's it that here are our missing features don't forget to check the video from yesterday where i introduced all of the important new features and I feel like I will have to do one more about uh, 10 kind of misinformation, fake news about this new affinity by Canva because as I mentioned, the forum is down and I see those Facebook groups or discords and there's like tons of misinformation there. So I will maybe make one more, just kind of tackling all of those fake news around that and just kind of putting the record straight so we really know what is this new version of the program all about. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.